Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. Today I have another 4th of July project. This one has been in my head for a while and I've been really wanting to do this before 4th of July and it's getting closer, y'all. It's only like a couple weeks away, so I thought I better get this one out. I had another tutorial for today, but I thought I better get this one out so everybody, if you want to make this, you have time to make it. For those of you who are new, I post on Tuesday and Sunday, and sometimes I'll stick another one in between, so be sure to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, and share, 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 because all those things help my channel so much. And if you share, it gets out to more people, and it helps me to be able to create more content. So yes, thank you for all who have already been sharing, so thanks so much. Okay, so I never know what, what's easier to see with like a clear cardstock. So I'm going to go ahead and use my mat again for this one. But this is a little 4th of July see-through. And I love th this paper. And this is a specialty paper from Stampin' Up! So you know it is see-through. This one has like I can... You can see little confetti all over it. There's another one, and I started to use it, but I made the box too big, and this is the one I really wanted to use, but I kind of messed it, messed it up. So this one has stars and confetti on them, and I love this one. Um, I really wanted to use this, but I didn't have enough because I used it on something else I made a while back. So anyway... I decided to use confetti and that was perfect for this one. So it comes in different um, patterns. So it comes in the, the one that is with the stars that I just showed you. It comes in these polka dots and then it comes in this confetti. And it's gold on one side and it's like silver on the other. But all of them are like that. So you can use whatever side you want. I chose to use the gold on here. And I'm using the beautiful balloon stamp set just for, I think it's time for a celebration. And it's great for 4th of July. You can make these for birthday parties or whatever. Because it's just so good um, to add any kind of candy in here. You can fill it with the red, white, and blue M&Ms. You can use, um, these are the Reese's Cups. I, by the way, found these at Sam's. Because I looked everywhere, y'all. Nobody has the 4th of July patriotic candies this year. I can't find them anywhere except for the red, white, and blue M&Ms and these. So this is what I'm using for this one. But like I said, you could fill it with the M&Ms as well. All right, let's get started with this. I know it's going to be a little bit hard to see because it is the Claire like acetate with the design, but I was thinking this was going to work better. So let's get started with it. So this piece right here is five and a half by six. You can make four out of one of these 12 and 12, 12 by 12 pieces of cardstock. So we're gonna go ahead first, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment and get that ready to go. I'm just gonna use a piece of scrap here. I hope this is big enough for my sentiment. I think it is. And I am using Knight of Navy. So let me tell you what size this is. So it's a little bit over three quarters inch. I may trim it. I'm not sure if this will fit on there and I may have to trim it. Let's see. Oh, I need to leave a little bit of space for my little hole that we're going to put in there. No, I think it fits on there perfect. It's just a hair over um, three quarters inches. So if you do three quarters, it'll work just fine. I'm going to go ahead and flag the end. Make it a little smaller. And so for this part, I am going to use my eighth inch hole punch. We're going to use two. We're going to use the bigger one and then this one as well. This one is just to string our twine through. And then the other one will make bigger that's on the top of the box. Okay, so let's score our piece here. And I'm going to use the gold again. So let's do it on this side so I can fold it the right way. And use the small one so it gets right into these grooves here. 
because the deeper you make these, the easier it is to fold. So we're going to score it on the six inch side and I'm going to score it at one and a quarter and at five. I like using this simply scored better than the trimmer because it's got those deeper grooves. And then on the five and a half inch side, you're going to score it at one half. One and three quarters. Three. And four and a quarter. You can use your regular window sheet for this as well and just decorate the outside if you want. Okay, so I am going to cut this. The smaller side is going to be the bottom of the box. So we're going to cut these. Let me turn it this way. I think you can see the gold side a little bit better. And then we're going to cut this end one off because this half inch side is our glue tab. You do see your glue from this side. If you use the wet glue, it'll dry a little bit clearer, um, but I didn't want to sit and wait, hold and wait for it to dry. So I just used my Seal Plus. You can use your tear and tape, because the tear and tape's a little narrower. I might use that on this one. You're gonna still see it a little bit, but just make that the back of your box. All right, now we have to sharpen it. This bone folder <laughs> is so good, the Teflon one for this, because you can see um, it really make, lets you be able to score it on a really straight line. So I like to cut it first, because it gives me a guide to where our little score marks are. And don't worry if you score it too tight. You can always manipulate it after. I love working with this. Um, some people think it's a little bit more difficult, but it's not difficult. It's not hard at all, y'all. So we're gonna do these. These are the bottom ones. You sometimes need good light. That's the only thing that I can say is you need to be able to see your little score marks. And if you have this simply score, you're not going to have any problems folding on them. Super easy. Because it does have really deep grooves in it. All right. So now we're ready to put it together. I am going to use the tear and tape. I'm going to grab it because I didn't grab it because I was going to use my stamp and seal plus but I thought I'd show you how this works too. So you want, oh, let's see, we're gonna put it this way, yes. So you want to make sure this goes the right way because you want this on the inside, you want, don't wanna do it on the outside of the box. You want it to be on the inside. Let me grab my little pokey tool here. Remove that and then just put this together, just line it up. Sometimes it's a little easier to um, line up if you, if you just do this top part later, if you sharpen your score marks later. So these are more straight, it's easier to line it up. I forgot and I just went ahead and did it. So these, this is the bottom. I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus on this. So there's your bottom right there. Let me grab some of my little Reese's miniatures and we are going to put these inside. This is the trickiest part y'all. Getting these things to go flat and, and stack on top of each other. <laughs> They want to go every which way. You have to stick your fingers in there and get them situated. And if it's five of them. All right, so this top part, I'm going to fold in the, the top two here. 
I'm going to use my little corner rounder and I'm going to I'm going to round the corners of these two that are still standing up. Then I'm going to use my larger hole punch and I'm going to punch a hole on each side. Now I'm going to grab the ribbon. The ribbon that I'm using is this red from the Real Red and Burlap ribbon and then I am using the Knight of Navy ribbon here. So we're going to run both of these through there. And I am going to tie a knot. I'm going to tie the knot pretty loose because then I'm going to use some baker's twine. I'm going to just cut one side of this. And I'm going to use this baker's twine and this is from our 2022-24 in colors. And then I'm going to grab my sentiment here. cut enough of that and I'm gonna I didn't do this loose enough so I'm gonna just put this underneath the ribbon here and I am gonna tie a little bit bitty bow on here. I like this because it's got that little stripe on it. And let's tie this a little bit tighter. You can double knot it too. We're going to cut these a little bit shorter. And I like to kind of spread them out like that. And there you go. It's all done and ready to go. It's really quick and easy. So you can make these for um, the 4th of July party or fill it with for birthday party. It's really cute. I put this on the wrong side because this is the back and I didn't pay attention. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's see. I'll just fix it later. <laughs> You know how I am. I get so picky about stuff like that. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this little treat holder. If you need any supplies, this is my June Hostess code. If you use it, I'd appreciate it. But you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamora.com. The inspiration sheet for this will be on there. You can download it and print it. Have a blessed one, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Bye.